Hello and welcome to the window art demonstration for uh, your workshop box this week. Um, I'll just quickly run through what you've got in your box. Um, so you've got a tube of PVA glue, a spreader and a plastic pot in which to put your glue. You've also got a selection of different translucent papers, different colours. There's a real mix in there, which we'll go through in a minute. You have a piece of uh, acetate sheet, um, and you'll find that if you feel it, one side is slightly rougher than the other. Um, and we're going to be sticking uh, things onto the slightly rougher side. And then you've got your frame for when we finish at the end. And I'll just show you an example of what we're going to be making. Um, so here is um, one I did earlier, and this is uh, shows the paper stuck to the acetate. And when you hold it up against the light, so I've got a little light here, I'll show you. Um, you can see how it lets some light through and it really, really brings out the colours and the details within the paper. So you get a really nice colourful effect. Um, it kind of brings it to life. And when you put these uh, onto a window, which is what they're designed for, when the sunlight shines through, you get some absolutely beautiful, uh, vibrant colours and effects coming through. You can see where they've overlapped. And you've got some rougher edges. Um, so yeah, they're really a, quite a simple technique, but really beautiful um, results. It's really interesting. And I've done this one. This is you know, um, quite an abstract one. Just done torn pieces of paper that have been uh, organised quite randomly. So I didn't, you know, I didn't worry too much about where I put them. Um, and still you get some kind of really nice surprising contrasts in colour. You look at the red against the yellow. Really, really nice kind of crossover of the colours there. And I've I've torn the paper so you get this nice kind of fluffy edge. I'll um so I'll just take you take you through how I've done this and um how you can do your own. So I've got uh, a selection of paper which we're going to look through first so we move everything to the side because um, it's quite nice to explore the materials um, and spend some time looking at what you've got um, before you start um, and it helps you get some ideas of how you want to do this um, so you've got a mix of different papers and you'll have a slightly different mix to this um, but hopefully you know a really good variety so if you can hold up your paper to the light you can see so this is a light pink one and uh, it's nice to explore each piece and what it looks like when it's got the light behind it um, so it's got different details and fibers that's a much darker one um, and you can see kind of when it's just flat without the light on it looks very different and then you hold it up and get the light coming through you get the kind of lights and the darks and the and different details which is really this has even got like a little bit of silver in it a little bit of foil I've got a red one here With some leaves, gold leaves. So it's really nice to kind of just explore, have a feel, and look. So you can see it just lets a bit of light through and it really brings out the colour. And we've got here, this is a slightly thicker paper. You can see it's got some little flowers in there. Actually, two together, and so 
say, you've got a real mix through yours. So, yeah, spend some time going through and thinking about the ones you really like, which colours you think work well together. Very nice purple. And oh, I've got lots here. So when you come to do your design, you might decide that you want to do what I did with this one, like this one, and you want to tear it up into small pieces. Or you might want like to leave kind of bigger areas, so that's quite striking with the print on this one, um, black and the orange. So you might want to do a band, you know, kind of a width of one type, and do it quite, so you've got quite large areas. Um, you, know, you can you can overlap some and as you go you can sort of hold it up to the light and, and see what you think try out a few different things so you can also cut out some shapes you can tear it so you get this kind of more rougher edge or you can use some scissors. We've also provided some scissors in the pack if you'd like to do it. So I really do like the kind of rougher edge when it's torn. Um, so I'm actually going to do a kind of central piece in the middle, like that. And then I'm going to have a little look through what I've got. And I'm gonna do some pieces round it. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna plan it out before I actually stick it down. I'm just gonna have a little plan. Just play around with arranging things next to one another. See how the colours look up against each other. like this idea of having this central piece almost looking like it radiates out so you might like to do something like that with a pattern it even looks sort of like a flower effect so you've got this central and then you come out in circles so I'm now gonna, gonna do a darker one And you can just lay them roughly on, like so. I've got a little bit of an idea about how I want to lay this out. So I'm just going to clear the paper away now. Whoops, try not to let it blow away. Right off. So this is how I'm going to stick it. So now what I'm going to do is just sort of slightly move them away. And then stick my first piece down, which will be the middle bit. So what you can do is you can squirt the PVA straight onto a piece of acetate. That's absolutely fine. Now these are quite difficult to squeeze to get them out. So if you find actually that's just not working for you, what you can do is take the lid off completely, unscrew it, and you can just get a big blob of the PVA straight into your tray. 
like that. And then you haven't got to keep trying to squeeze it out of the bottle. And you can just scoop it out with a spreader like that. So you've got a blob and then just spread it around. So you can cover quite a wide area and spread it so it fills up. It's just a thin layer. Spread it out. And then you can take your first piece, place that on. And then where you've spread it around, I just overlap the edge of the piece. We go around just making sure the edges are all stuck down so the glue can go over the top of the piece of paper and then you can use your next one so then I'm going to go on to the red stick that down and kind of arrange it and then you can get some more from your tray Add it on. And you go over the edges. And just keep going, spreading the glue. Can be quite generous with the glue you just keep spreading it out and it can completely go over the top of your paper because when it dries it will dry clear so it won't look white like it does at the moment another bit on so it's a bit like kind of doing a paper mache but you don't want to build up you don't want to overlap too much a little bit of overlapping the paper is fine but you don't want to put one piece right on top of another piece because obviously you want it to stay translucent you want the light to still be able to shine through And get a bit sticky and it's sticking to your fingers and you might want to have a little break and go and wash your hands and you can come back to it you don't have to do it all in one go you could stop there and then come and do the next color in a little while and um, the glue will stay wet in your tub for a little while And you can fill in all the bits um, so it's completely covered. You can leave some that isn't covered. Um, there will be a border going around it so you won't be able to see the edge completely when it's done. I'll just put some bits around here. looks very gluey at the moment and that's fine you can get rid of those thicker bits spread it out a bit but it will will dry so you can't see it like that anymore you can lift it up and you can see still looks gluey underneath but again that's going to dry 
So you have to leave that to dry for now, um, for a few hours, and we'll come back and do the next piece of putting it together in a little while. So now you can see it's all dry. Um, I left it overnight actually, um, just to make sure it was all completely dried through. Um, and then once it's dry, you can have a look at what you've done. And um, you might, if you see any bits that are missing, any little gaps that you want to fill in, you can always go over, add a bit more glue um, and add some extra bits if you feel that there's any gaps uh, when you hold it up to the light. But um, yeah, that's the finished the finished piece. Now we're going to frame it around the edges just so that it kind of finishes it off nicely. And then you've got something to attach it to the window with as well. So I've got um, some pre-cut frames for you in your box. Um, and the way we do this is if we just lay the frame down first. And you've also got a, um, a stick of glue which you can just wind up um, just a little way and then you can just go around the edge all the way around. You can go around just kind of towards the outside edge. Make sure we do all the way until it's around to the other side and then place your piece of acetate on so you don't need to worry about too much about the acetate being stuck down because what we're going to do is then take the top of your frame and kind of sandwich it in the middle so you just line it up as best you can you just look at the corners so it lines up with the one underneath and then press it down And that should be secured in your frame then. There we are. So that finishes it off nicely. And uh, turn my light on. You'll see, you can see the light coming through. Really showing it off nice. And there's no white now from the glue. So now you've finished it. Um, you can have a look at it up against your window. Hopefully it's a nice sunny day. Um, and you can admire your lovely piece of window art, looking at all the papers and the colour, the textures coming through, um, and see the light really bringing it to life and bringing out the vibrancy of the colours. Um, you can see all the details under here, it's really nice. Really pleased with that. Um, I hope you enjoy your results too. I have got some... Um, glue dots in your pack this little strip but I have found that actually the glue dots <laughs> don't stick that well I was hoping they would stick a bit better but you can try them out um, I mean the reason they're good is that they're removable but um, they tend to not last very long so you might want to use something like blue tack instead but see if you put them in each corner they might stay um, see how you get on but yeah um, so I hope you enjoyed it I hope it's given you some ideas of what you might like to do with it um, and I look forward to seeing the results take care goodbye